It's finally time for Jorm Duel. I've been waiting for this god to be allowed in Duel forever, as long as I can remember. This is the funnest god to come out since Fafnir. I've always said I think Fafnir was the best god released. Well, I think Jorm is even more fun than him. And people disagree with me that Jorm is the best god released. He was underpowered on release, but not really. People just didn't know how to use him. And then they buffed him, and people complained he was OP, and then they nerfed the best parts about him. And now he's, he's you know, he's fun, but not the same. Um, either way, I am, I'm really excited to play Jorm. Where, what god do I ban? Uh, oh yeah, I played a warm-up game against the Ho Yi. Uh, very good Ho Yi. Um, and I would upload that game, but I feel like I wasn't really into the game yet. Like, I was still warming up for it today. And as Jorm, because I haven't played him very much at Duel. But also, Ho Yi's leap completely immunes my entire kit. If I use my one and then split the pools and use my two, he just leaps and all of a sudden all my abilities are on cooldown and I can't do anything. And what am I supposed to do? Not use my two? Then I just get outboxed like crazy. So uh yeah, that matchup was horrible. So we're gonna try we're gonna try we're gonna try banning him. I feel I feel like I usually don't ban counters just because there's so many OP gods, but it's like Ho Yi's kind of already in worthy of a ban anyways. But that was just such a hard counter I, I, I had a difficult time. All right, so actually, you know what? We're not gonna start Bancrofts. I tried starting Bancrofts last game, didn't actually work out too well. I think going a more Bruiser start might be a little bit more effective. Also, Aegis against uh, Poseidon Kraken, probably still best situation. What the nice things about this matchup, let's talk about it. His one cat knock, knock me back, and that's it, I think. I can chase him with my ult, I guess, if he's really low health. But Poseidon is so fast. There. Oh, did they fix that? No! No, they fixed... Oh, my God. They fixed the dancing with Jorm. Used to be able to left-click like this, and it would make him turn around and stuff, but they got rid of it. I'm upset. That thing is too big. Too big for Smite. Oh, big damage. After I use my two, my base attacks are, em are empowered, which means that the meter doesn't go down. So after I use my two, it's very, very good to just left click as much as I can. Yeah, I don't know if Bancroft is too strong on, on Jorm right now, to be honest. Also, I don't think his cripple actually destroys my three, surprisingly. Lots of damage. Lots of damage. I want to stay, but I don't have too much sustain. Oh, neither does he. Okay, good. This matchup doesn't seem too bad so far. Yeah, I, I love this god so much, you guys. He's so incredibly fun. I've been playing him casuals, but I haven't really gotten a chance to play him in duel yet. Okay, I got my ultimate. The thing is, that I don't think I can burst on red buff. Also, he's back to full health. How? Did he have... I, get, I don't know. I guess he had a potion ticking, but either way, I added down to a quarter of health. And now that's gone. The fact that he can't knock me away is so good. Okay, he got my ages. The, oh, what's going to suck about this matchup is I cannot dodge his, his Kraken to save my life. So that's what's going to suck about this match. So now that my Aegis is on cooldown, next time he has it up, he's probably just going to try and burst me down. But I'm going to have defense, so it should be fine. I shouldn't have split the pools, actually. That used too much of my mana. If I recall right away, I don't think he can take red buff. 
because he had to use his ability. You have to think, right? He, he had to use his abilities on the wave to clear it. And I recalled instantly, so I should be here pretty fast. Maybe he might be able to take it. I hope not. Did he take it? Nope. Okay, nice. Now, is he going to come and contest it? Yes. All right, so we both backed. No big deal. Look how fast he is. Look how much damage I deal. Half his health. Nice. I mean, that is three abilities, but still. It's pretty good. Oh, if he's just going to recall. Nope, he's not. Okay. Should I try an XP deny him? I don't know how good that would be. I love that I can just look over at blue buff over the wall. <laughs> I don't even have to jump. He's bigger than the Titans, honestly. Oh, that still stuns me. It doesn't knock me up, but it still stuns me. Which is a little unfortunate. I think I can stay. Just because he has no MP5 except for that Mage's Blessing. I guess that is enough MP5 for him to keep sustained, but he's already at half mana and his ultimate's down, which is the main danger for me. Okay, that hit me. That's kind of unfortunate. So his Whirlpool applies days to me, which I just realized. Which is a little unfortunate. I guess I got his Bracer. Time to go. Got his Bracer. Give him red buff, I guess. I don't want to miss out on this entire wave, though. Just hoping he doesn't take my blue buff. Alright, back. I'm actually thinking of getting Talaria's boots because the fact that he can't knock me back or anything, the chase potential is much higher, and I'm kind of a slow god. The Talaria boots might mitigate that and let me chase even Poseidon with all of his movement speed, you know? Oh, it's getting really slow. But yeah, I'm gonna be streaming Jorm Duel pretty much most of today. I, he's so he's so fun. People always ask me what are the go-to guardians in Duel, and I say Ymir, Fafnir. Um, I forget, I forget forgetting the other ones right now, but I'm definitely gonna start saying Jorm. I feel like he's pretty viable. Oh, Kuzbo. I haven't played Kuzbo in a while, I might need to do that. Okay, he's taking his blue buff, that's fine. He's only ahead of me by a tiny bit of gold. So the thing that kind of sucks about this matchup that I realized um, is that his Whirlpool applies dazed, right? Because it doesn't, it doesn't move me in. Oh, sorry about that Discord notification. Um... His it doesn't it doesn't pull me in, which means it applies days, which means that if he Krakens me right after using a Whirlpool or his one, I'm gonna take that ten percent more damage from his Kraken. So it's like a mini Sunder effect. Which yeah, it's bad, but it's not crazy bad. If I go move it speed though, he can't he can't hit me now, can he? I can just dodge the ultimate. <laughs> Especially if I get Wing Blade. I think this is the play. Let's see how strong this ultimate is. Oh, good stuff. Do I chase them? Man, I was hoping he'd win it back. I was hoping he went back so bad. He's gonna get red buff now. Wow, that sucks. Free red buff to him, I guess. All right, let's go. Uh... I think we need a Chronos Pennant. You know what? Genji's is all good and all, but lots of cooldown on Jorm is good. 
Yeah, he gets a free red buff of that. That's unfortunate. Maybe I should have dove for it. I should have maybe put my ult more to the right. So, yeah, I might have still missed him because it's kind of a hard ultimate hit. But I would have at least been closer. Or I could have waited the duration out so that my two would have came up. That probably would have been the best situation. Waiting until my two's up to come out of the ultimate is probably a good idea. Okay, he's just going to dodge it like all Poseidons do. Um, my Aegis is down now, though. But I have my ult up in 20 again. They did buff Joram so that his ultimate's not as high cooldown. It's only 100 seconds now. Whereas it used to be 120 scaled down to scale down. His blue buff is up, so if I can push him out here, I can take his buff. He does have that health chow, so I'm really going to go for it. Wow, he took that. He took that fast. Holy moly. Dude, I can't see with these trees in my way. Please let me use my two. Oh my god. Ah, I didn't let me use my two. To be fair, I'm diving to Phoenix. Without any physical protection. I couldn't see anything because those trees were in the way. Like, yeah, I could see his health bar, but that's not very helpful now, is it? <laughs> hmm. I'm feeling like Joram ulti near that Phoenix might be a bad, bad idea just because of the giant tree. Not many maps have giant trees like that, do they? Only the Joust map. Yeah, I could see it getting in the way very much so if you all over here or over here. You wouldn't be able to see a thing. It's not so bad in duel because you're only focusing one person though. Not his ultimate at least. Yeah, but this guy took his blue buff and then ran away. Oh, dazed effects on me. Is he gonna go away again? Okay. Alright. I guess we're playing PvE now. Uh, one thing about Jorm is that he can't really take Bull Demon. I know I made a video on PTS that he could build Telekines and stuff like that, but it does not proc on Jorm's auto attacks anymore. That was that was a bug mentioned from the beginning. It's just I didn't know it when I made that video. And you would see that 99% of people in the comments pointed that out. <laughs> uh, let's get... Blink's good against Poseidon, but not very good. Oh, maybe... Oh, shoot. Sorry for taking my tower. Maybe sprint, because upgrade sprint, I can chase him with my auto attacks, you know? Kind of like with Hasten. He got red buff again. He's sitting so far back, but he's able to keep buff control, just because I can't, I can't do it. So I do lots of damage, but if I can't kill them, it doesn't matter. You know? I do way more damage on him, but he's just running away. Wow, he's running away again. I hate Poseidon, man. I hate Poseidon so much. This is why, this is why I hate duels sometimes. I complain about it a lot, and this is exactly the reason. I just want a good fight, but I can't get it. Also, none of the minions kill each other, so he didn't, I didn't even make him miss out on any of the wave. Now he does more damage to me. Tried pressing Aegis, but didn't go off. <sighs> yep, he's just gonna... He's just gonna do that. Keep running away after every wave, then come back with his fast movement speed. That's such his life. I gotta figure out a good Jorm build, also. Also, if I didn't have the travel shoes, I wouldn't be able to chase him at all. So I don't, don't think that was a mistake. A lot of people are going to be like, well, if you got the different types of, types of boots, yeah, I'd be able to fight him better, but it doesn't matter when he runs away. That's what you got to realize. Like here, he's on my side of the map. I actually might be able to kill him. There we go. Yep, when he's on my side of the map, I can kill him because he's actually fighting me. He doesn't have anywhere to go. Very good stuff. Also, you might have noticed a tactic he was doing, which was running back into where I 
I was ulting out of. Um, that that works, but you gotta time it well. You'll still take damage from the pools and the body, the slam damage from the from the body, but you won't take the the crash damage. Or sorry, the submerge damage. Wait, yeah, submerge damage. So, yeah, the Jorm's ultimate. He damages when he comes out of the out from the ground. He damages when he hits back the ground in the circle, and then he damages in a line between again. So you can hit them with all three, but it's very difficult. Also, it knocks them up if you come out of the ground or hit them in the ground. So if you manage to knock them out of the ground, you can actually knock them out into your next hit, which is really good. Also, I think Obsidian is the best pen item on Joan. He doesn't have very good pen options. He took Bull Demon? Okay. If it means that he has to actually fight me, I'll take it. Okay. Enough damage. Got his ages. Oh my god. Can't stay. Can't stay. Should I get anti heal for his obsidian and his pancrofts? Maybe. Okay, back to our protections are gone again. Very nice. And he's running away. Oh my god. Thank god that gives me inv invisibility. He might be able to take my tower though, it's a problem. Ugh. <sighs> Man, besides is annoying. Like, really annoying. Oh, now that I have, now I have Obsidian, I do more damage. Wow, he's so fast. Oh! 127 health! Yeah, the first match I played against Ho Yi was pretty bad just because he would immune all my damage. At least Poseidon can't do that. But I'm noticing that the fact that he can just kind of run away and back and the fact that he can just um, dodge my ultimate so easy with his movement speed makes it makes it kind of difficult. Not as bad, though. Uh, I would still say Jorm's still looking pretty strong. Just seems, seems like maybe the matchups. I'm going to have to play him more, obviously. But I might find out he's horrible. I might find out he's really good when built right. I'm just I'm trying different things on him right now. The reason I knew to go Travelers is just most Guardians against Poseidon, if they don't get some sort of movement speed, which usually I'll get rings, but I can't get rings on Jorm effectively, maybe Shaman's ring. Um, if you don't get some sort of movement speed, he will just run away so far. Also, I'm probably going to need a Wingblade. What's nice about Wingblade on Jorm is that I'm pretty sure that if he gets knocked up, it applies Daze, which makes him slow, but I think Wingblade procs off of that, which is, which is good. Sometimes. Not all the time. Did I mute it? No. Wow. <laughs> I tried ulting way before he ulted uh, to try and get underground in time so that maybe, maybe I could get rid of the ult because I was like, there's no way he doesn't ult me here. But the animation is just too long. So far, I'm saying Jorm is pretty good. I need some experience. Either way, I'm going to upload this video, and I hope you guys drop by stream, and maybe I can give a better consensus. GG. Level 2 Battle Pass. Ayo.